Hey everyone, it's been a while since I put out a new video and there's a reason for that. Let me explain. Sometimes you have an idea that you think will make for an interesting video, but you're not quite sure how to tell the story visually. And that's what happened to me with this video. I've had it in draft form on my computer screen for more than a week now, but I just couldn't find a way to bring it to life in a meaningful way. So this video is going to be a bit different in terms of the format that I have been creating lately. You know how much danocan.com loves history. Sometimes that love of history means I feel the urge to document the present knowing that the present is tomorrow's past. Rather than always looking back at what has been, I sometimes like to document what is so people in the future will be able to experience it like we do today. So what you're looking at here is dash cam footage of driving on Saskatchewan Highway 7 through the town of Vanskoy. There's a construction project taking place that's going to realign the highway to the north and bypass the town. Now, I personally never felt slowing down to pass through Vanskoy was that big of a deal, certainly not enough to justify a project of this size, but clearly someone in the government felt differently. Now, this is a story we've seen repeated many times. Route 66 is littered with examples of towns that died when the highway was moved and no longer passed through the heart of town. Now, Vanskoy is close enough to Saskatoon that I suspect it will continue to survive as a bedroom community, but certainly losing the traffic that is just passing through on Highway 7 has to be a blow for the few businesses in this town of less than 400 people. What I really wanted to accomplish with this video was to document what it was like here in 2019. Before long, people like me who love old road alignments will venture off the four-lane highway and explore this little town and wonder what it was like back in the day when the highway ran the old course. Well, thanks to the wonders of dash cam video, they can experience it for themselves, both eastbound and westbound. So thanks for watching and allowing me to indulge in this little experimental video. And if you're watching from the future, let me know if you enjoyed seeing how the highway used to look. Of course, those watching in the present are free to comment as well. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video.